All right, so for this circuit, we're going to need something we can put our front foot on, something we can put our back knee on, and that could just be, you know, a mat, and then something that we can chop, okay? So this could be like a yoga bar or something like that. Each of these exercises going to be 50 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. Just follow along with me, and I'm going to coach you through it. All right, here we go. So I'm going to get one knee down the pad. I'm going to bring one leg up on the step here. I'm going to take a deep breath in and rotate away from my front leg. Exhale, rotate back. One thing, think about kind of tucking the belly button towards the belt buckle to get a stretch in this down leg. Reach up and rotate away. Exhale. In through the nose. Light exhale through the mouth. So not super crazy. One thing that I'm doing with my neck as well is I'm looking towards the side I move towards. So, be here. Get all the air out. So, really long, long breaths here. So I feel a good stretch down in my down leg. Okay, so now for this last drill, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come into a plank position on the wall. Okay, I want to put my elbows relatively high, open my hands up towards me, push my shoulder blades apart. All right, we're just going to tuck the pelvis here. All I want you to do, take a deep breath in as you blow to one side. Exhale. Take a deep breath in as you look to the other side. Exhale. Try to keep the shoulder blades apart and the abs tucked. Breathe in, look to this side. Exhale. Make this easier by walking up, make it harder by walking away. Breathe in and look to the side. Exhale. Breathe in and look to the side. And exhale. Very good. If you're doing that right, you're going to feel a little bit of like uh, tension in your upper back. and It feels like the, those muscles are working. That's exactly what we're doing. So again, we're just going to go one more round back to the beginning here. Get, get that pelvic tuck, find that stretch, breathe in. Switch sides here. Same thing. Just gonna put the other leg forward. Okay, just tuck in my pelvis. Put your way, breathe in. Exhale and rotate towards the stance leg. One thing you notice as you go along. You're able to take longer breaths. That's a good thing. That means your spine has more capacity to flex and extend. Our body has more variability or movement options.
Last one. That was weird. Alright, so I'm just going to tip this back up here. We're going to finish with our last exercise. Again, open my hands up, tuck my pelvis, breathe in and look to one side. Exhale. Keep that tuck, look to the other side. Keeping the shoulder blades pushed together apart the entire time. You find that hard to do, you can just walk up, focus on looking forward and expanding those shoulder blades. You know, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, just go keep that expansion, rotate your head. Again, breathe in. 